Hello all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So friends, I see I have crossed 100 subscribers. My first milestone. Thank you all. Those who have subscribed, thank you very much. And those who are not subscribed, kindly subscribe and do like, share and subscribe my channel and share the video with your friends and encourage me to do more videos. Come on friends, we have to reach 1000 subscribers faster. So friends, if you have any doubts related to tech or even Python, here you can see the LinkedIn option in my channel. You can click on that. You will be redirected to my LinkedIn page where you can connect to me in LinkedIn and you can even personally message to me if you have any doubts related to tech or Python. So let's not waste our time. This is video 7 of Python series, which is Python lists. Before going to the video, I just want to let you all know about a community that is Codem, codem.cc. So this is a website. I'll be giving the link of this website in the description. So the main aim of Codem is to help the people who want to learn coding. So it's like free of cost. It's an open source community where a person who already knows coding and a person who don't know the coding can form a group and you both can learn each other. You can like message to that person. You can learn both can interact with each other and learn the coding very well. So the main aim of this community or as this codem is to help the person who don't know the coding to learn coding easily with a best projects and you can like interact with the people around the world. In this community, there are already many people, students, working professionals, many of them, even you all can uh, kindly join in this community. And if you have any doubts related to tech, you can even message there. Even they have the community in the Slack codem where I'll be giving the link of this Slack community also in the description where you can directly go to that particular codem page and you can message to them. Even you can join in this with the help of Slack. If you don't have the account in Slack, kindly create it. So let's not waste our time. Let's dive into our topic. Before diving, a quick note for you all. You don't need to note any definitions or you don't need to note the code. If you are seeing this video with the brand practically implementing the code along with me, you will definitely learn. You don't need to note in a book or anything because I have created a dedicated article of Python list in Medium. So you can check out this article. Every definitions are available, including the examples. You can see here the example screenshots. So friends, let's not waste our time. Let's dive into our topic. Day seven lists in Python. So lists are nothing but which are enclosed in square brackets, square brackets and which can be like mutable. They can be edited or they can be even muted. So list is a order data structure with elements that contain a comma separated values and enclosed in square brackets. This is the definition. So let me show you all the list. Now present list can be written in this form. This is an empty list. Now if I run this, it's not going to give us any error. But if you check type of list, see you can see here it's saying this is a list. Let me show you all another example now. Let me create a variable name, data frame name or else LST is equals to list. I'll mention one. Hi. And even I will want to mention my name. So now quickly pause this video and think whether this is going to give me error or not. I want your answer. Comment the answer below. See, you can see here it's going to give me error because it is considering this as a data frame or else a variable in which I have stored something. It's not going to run. So if you want to give any word or any character, you have to enclose that in a string. About string, I have explained in my previous videos. If you have not watched it, go and watch those previous videos. Now, whether it's going to give me wrong or correct, let me run it. See it, considering it as a list. Right. 
type of a list each see it is a list now if i check lst so it's a list you can see here the list values are coming out so in list there are many functions which can be performed we are going to discuss one after another slowly at now in this video itself before that i all i want to explain you all a important function called sort sort uh, this also i'll give you all an example definitely i'll take uh, like lst1 is equals to 1 comma 5 comma 6 comma 9 comma 2 comma 4 now i'll run this one now if you check lst1 one five six nine two four you can see here it is not in an order but now if you use lst1 dot sort function sort now if you run this that will be getting sorted into it's according to its numbers now let me check lst1 you can see now the difference one five six nine two four is here this is what we have given now it got sorted to see 1 2 4 5 6 9 according to its value and position so this is the main use of sort function and you have here one more function called append we are going to discuss about the append also right now this is nothing but to add something else which you have missed out in the particular list you can use the function called append Nothing but for that what you have to do is like lst1 dot append for example I have mentioned I have forgot to mention 7 now if I give you 7 and run it now if I check lst1 see it is gonna add that particular value at the last in this particular list itself <coughs> you can use append for that and you have one more option called as indexing the next function is indexing and one more main thing you can even create an empty list by just using this square bracket which I have given at the first so this is considered as empty list and afterwards you can later append also like example now I'll give you all for append only st2 is equals to it's an empty list it's not going to give you an error because it is an empty list later also you can append it out lst2 dot append Okay. Yeah. You can see here, like you can, if you are gonna give any character, you have to mention it in a particular square bracket and you have to give, then it's gonna append that in this particular area. Or you can use one other option like directly you can give lst2 is equals to no, you need to create a definitely a blank index now here I can give one comma okay, only this particular thing is gonna take only one argument I guess you have another option like this. Not built in function. You can use tab function to check out. 
okay you have shift plus tab to read out the definition of that particular thing built in mutable you can normally append in that way itself like you have to give this and you have to give a square bracket and you can append that particular character but if you want to append any only one thing you can use this any one particular value you can use that particular thing this is the use of append now let's check out about list.insert Last three is equals to like I'll give one comma four comma five six. Let me run this. The use of append is that whatever you are trying to append, that will be at the by reflecting at the end of that particular string or else end of that particular list sorry what particular list but the use of insert method is you can directly append whatever value you want in that particular position itself so using the position and the value let me show you all an example now now here i have missed two and three i'll append two now see at the particular position next to one LST three is equals to LST three dot insert. So at which position I want to give the position is one zero one okay. one comma two. Let me enter this. Now if I check LST three. So you can see here it is appended at here. Two is appended at here. This is nothing but uh, index value. Yeah, I have not mentioned about the index value, right? Let me explain you all about the index value now. After that, you will get to know what is that particular inserting index. For example, let me take LST only. Now LST only is equals to. One comma two comma three four five six. Now, if I run it, so it is stored here. Now I can use a function called indexing. So lst dot index okay lst dot index i want to check the index of the value 3 now if i run that seed is going to give you 2 because in index in list indexing or else in the list how the index it's going to store right like this one is considered as zero i mean zero one two three four five from zero it is gonna start indexing for each comma separated it is gonna give another thing as a one index so this one is uh, is stored in the index value of zero this two is stored in the index value of one so like this it is gonna store the particular index value of each variable You can even use like even the minus values you can use it like example i'll give minus three so what is it gonna give me it's not listed x value of three is two Actually, it should give the minus value.
Yeah, I'll check and I'll mention that in the article about minus. Now let me show you a clear cut example like I'll say print. LST list of list of the particular index value I want. The, here you can mention the index value. So the index value I'll give one. Run it. See the index value of index value one is the value of two. I know you might be little confusing. Nothing, friends. 0, 1, 2, 3. Index value always starts with 0. Wherever the comma is given, the next it is considered as the particular value. So the list of, print the list of 1, 1 index. So 1 index is 2. If I give the index of 4 and run it, it's going to show me 5 because 4th index contain the value 5. So I hope you all understood about the indexing, index append insert. Now in the insert also same it happens. Now where is the insert function? Yeah, insert. I have given here the index value one. In this particular index, I want two to be there. Now I'll give another option like I'll give here index of zero, wait, zero, one, two, three. Okay, now I want the three to be reflected in the second index because you can see here zeroth index is one, first index is two, now second index is four, but I want here the correct value three. So I can take second index and I'll give the value as three. If I run that and now if I run this, see you can see a third index. If you have any doubts related to that, you can just come to this particular line and you can use shift plus tab use the keyword shift plus tab here you can see the definition and here it is going to show you all the example also built-in function these are these all are the built-in functions of list indexing over now list dot reverse we'll use this same example itself we have already appended lst is equals to one two three four five six right reverse Now, if I check LST, see you can see here 654321. Nothing, friends, reverse function is just used to reverse the values from now. If I check the index value 0, for example, yeah, LST dot value of 0 and run it dot reverse index 3 0 is not listed okay fine okay fine let me check the index value of 6 now it's gonna give me 0 because 6 is going to start with 0 index now because it got reversed. Now if I check the index value of 1, it is giving me 5 because 1 is at the 5th index. Okay, This is the use of reverse function, nothing else. Now I can use, I will show you all about the remove function also now. remove element from the particular list but an error arises if the element does not exist in the list you can use the method called list dot remove so we have list right i have already taken this particular variable itself lst so now i want to remove lst dot remove value 5 and enter now if i check lst you can see your fifth value is gone it removed the fifth value so just the remote function is used to remove the particular value in list
next we'll see about pop pop is also used to remove the data from a data set but by default it will remove the data from last element so even pop is also used to just remove the particular value but by default what pop does is it removes the last value ending value see you here you can see the one as the fifth index now if we use pop function it is going to remove the one lst pop run see one got popped out if i run and see see here you can see one is not there it just popped out the one now if i again run this lst pop it is going to pop out the two this is just the use of the pop method lst dot clear now it's time for clearing the entire this data set it just deletes the entire data set but in pop and remove helps us to just remove only one or two data from the particular data data frame like in list you can just remove one or two values using pop and remove but using clear it will be entirely washed out st dot you don't need to mention in deadly in here any values because clear is just used to remove everything even in pop you cannot mention any particular argument or any particular value if i mention any particular value and try to remove yeah pop is going to remove that particular value also now if i check yeah i forgot about that if you give the value particular index value here it is going to remove that particular element in pop so now lst contains only 6 and 3 now if i give you a clear but in clear you cannot mention any particular arguments inside this it is going to arise an error like i want to remove 3 or 4 now if i try see here it is not going to take now if i give direct clear it is going to completely clear that particular list now if you run the list also no use because it is an empty list so clear is just used to remove the entire thing what is available we have option extend extend is used to like add some particular values add in essence like i'll give an example here itself now lst contains empty right so lst is equals to this time we'll take string now i'll run this one now lst contains the string lst contains the string i'll use the function called lst dot extend you can run this one okay i have to do the string now if i check lst you can see here i just gave the function called extend it is giving me s a i it like the main use of extend function is nothing but it is going to just split whatever it contains like now i'll use here lst dot extend mark and run this now again if i check see it is going to like split everything and consider each and every character only this is the use of the extend function so we have another function called copy so until now i hope you all understood nothing friends you have to like name the data frame uh, data frame dot whatever you want to do copy or extend or clear or else pop 
the particular method you have to give and mention the position value for which it is required. Now for copy, I want you all to do. I'll just give an in lst dot. You can use copy. Only this function. You can use this particular function and you can copy the variable. So I'm not gonna explain for copy. Because I want you all to try out copy, check the manual, try out and try to do it. So another two functions are left out, I guess. Now I'll say that I have to take a fresh variable. Next, we are going to see about count. Here I'll view a is equals to. One comma one comma two comma four comma five comma six. So the main use of count is nothing but it just gonna count the particular va value how many it contains. Like I'll take now. I have already executed a. Now you can see here. Now I'll use a dot count function count which particular value you want to count in this i'll give two so only i have entered so many times two you can see here it is just going to count the two and it is going to give me how many times that particular two is present you can see here one two three four five it gave me the count of five the use of count function is nothing to check the particular value how many times it is present now i'll give one you can see here one present two times so that's all that is the use of count function we have another two functions now. Another two functions in sense that is considered as one function only min and max. I'll take a only a dot min. Now, if I run this. Min is used to find the particular like how much it contains. Okay. Yes, I made an error. Min and max. Now I use min minimum value of A and run this one. You can see here the minimum value, the smallest value is one. Now if I use max of A and run six. So this is min and max function just it is used to like check the highest value and the lowest value. So friends that's all for this video. I hope you all understood about the list. So whoever have not subscribed my channel kindly subscribe my channel and also do watch the previous videos. If you don't watch the previous videos you will not be able to understand this particular video. Thank you everyone. Bye bye.